movement there, but she has just great speed, and her hitboxes, mainly her back air and dash attack, just beat out everything, and that includes projectiles. So, I think I'm, I'm really curious. I'm excited to see how uh, he's going to play around that. I also believe that this might not be his normal moveset. Uh, I'm actually, I didn't quite pay attention. I don't think he normally has Missile Side B, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but it could be, you know, for Topian Ray in particular. That's one of the nice advantages. Ah, uh, definitely, because he has the down B where he absorbs. That's so smart. Uh, Palutena, of course, has Auto Radical, which is a really good move. Uh, you know, for, you know, just a very low risk projectile from across the stage. Uh, but there is risk involved if your opponent's able to heal off of it. And Protom just doing a fantastic job slowing out all of these projectiles. Wow, that that was beautiful. He's, okay, he definitely changed his custom moves, and not to mention his play style specifically to deal with his Palutena. He's throwing out moves that beat out these uh, things that it feels like Palu would just want to sort of default to in general when she's fighting against a more uh, campy projectile character. But especially that neutral B, the auto reticle is just not really working out for him. And as a result, oh, that's 76% already dished out onto his second stock. Proton looking really strong here. It for Protom. He's been, after starting off so well in this game, just Utopian Ray has been adapting fantastically. The question is, though, whether he's going to be able to clean this off. He does, even though he had that down B that was able to absorb those explosive flames. Uh, just wasn't enough to. He right there just, I don't know, <laughs> forgot about it? I don't exactly know. Explosive Flame from Palutena is just so low risk that she kind of not always goes for it, but, you know, you might as well. Oh, 
tournament, making sure to get the proper music as we move on to game two, which is going to be uh, this time around on Town and City. Now, this stage, hmm, it's a lot longer. And I think that's one of the big, really important parts for Proton's game plan. His forward air is, of course, amazing. Helps him space backwards. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's alive. Wow, good job holding on to his jump. Ooh, but surviving there, although it definitely feels better than the alternative. Look at this. He's taken 82%. He has to up B out of that pressure. I mean, I think that was a really smart up B. It got him his jump back and helped him really get back down to the ground. But I think that just showcases how much of a terrifying position he was in. And that's another stock down. Protom... Utopian race, his adaptation. You can see it so clearly. Oh my god, platform Chan! Please! Coming in at the last second. Oh wow. Okay, that was. <laughs> I cannot believe that recovery from Protom. Oh man. He did it the wrong way. I don't think he wanted to have the missile head towards the blast one right there, and it, that cost him dearly. That game one felt so doable for him, and now it's looking like this set is going to just disappear from his grasp in 2-0 fashion. Starting to go for these riskier plays. Maybe, you know, a, a reach of a down air, but when you're down three stocks to one, especially as a character like me, Gunner, who isn't great at getting comebacks. The character's really good at consistent damage. You know, when he has a lead, he's one of the most tricky and obnoxious kind of characters to deal with. But when he's down by this much, it's the amount of work, the amount of careful, borderline perfect play that Proton has to do. But that is a start, managing to get that down tilt to take out Pro uh, Utopian Ray's first stock here. Oh, these projectiles are able to add up to a ton of damage. He survives that explosive flame, but I don't know if he can eat another. Maybe after healing from that, he can afford one more, but you don't want to be, in general, you just don't want to eat explosive flames. Okay, that did help him survive, but he... Oh, that's enough. Wow. I, that, I love the angle. I love the evasion that Protom tried to go for, but just wasn't quite enough. Uh, yeah, Ray was still there to cover it, and that means that he's going to be moving on in winner's bracket. Uh, Protom has to fight his way now through losers.